Hello there, my name is Ismos and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this scene here, especially how to make uh, these vines. So before we get into the time lapse, let me show you how to use the IV generator to, to make these uh, vines or roots into any shape you want. Uh, yeah, so let's dive in and see how that goes. Yeah, so to use the IV generator, you can go to Edit Preferences and uh, search for IV uh, to enable the IV uh, generator add-on. You should and in, in your 3d view space i can hit n to access it under the create menu you can see here and the way it works is that uh, you have a source of generation and where the uh, the generation grows to towards or where the iv is going is going to grow towards so to set those i just move your cast cursor to the position you want Let me just so this is going to be my source just holding down uh, shift and then uh, right click should enable you to set your 3d cursor let me turn on my shortcuts here so that you can see what i'm doing so this is going to be the source of the iv and then if i want uh, the iv to to grow onto this uh, beam here or pole i just select it and uh, then i can just go into the create menu and uh, click add iv now you can see how the IV is trying to grow towards this. Uh, these are not the default settings, so let me reset them to the default settings so that the settings you use, you're looking at at the beginning are the same settings. I'm just going to reset, 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 reset. After you create your IV and uh, make any changes, you can just hit this update button and that uh, it should update your IV object, which doesn't seem to be the case. Let me just update. Increase the size something like three. I think you need to have uh, your source a bit closer to the mesh you're trying to uh, to grow towards. So, so let me move my cursor here. So that my source is here, then select this and IV. Okay, it's processing. Now you can see that our IV, my IV has grown onto the surface. And it takes on the shape of the mesh uh, is growing on, as you can see, uh, like so. Uh, by default, it, it won't have any materials set to it. Let uh, the shaders compile. Again, by default, uh, the IV doesn't have doesn't come with any materials, uh, but uh, you can give that the mesh uh, their own material. Uh, basically, what it is, you have these planes uh, that represent uh, the leaf, and uh, they have their own. You should give them their own material. And just find let me just isolate this for a second i'll show you how to do that just add a leaf texture if you have one let me find my textures So all these meshes, all these planes are using are UV unwrapped and uh, the, the UVs are overla overlaid on top of each other. So if I move this, you can see that uh, there all the other UVs are over that. So now I can just go into edit mode and just uh, make sure that I align my UVs uh, and orient them at how I want my leaf to look. So now I can use our diffuse, shader diffuse, mixed with uh, translucence, control, shift, right drag, just to have some backlight and then 
I'll mix with a transparent and uh, the alpha mask of the leaf texture is going to be our uh, factor so I'm just how to switch this around now uh, if you're using Eevee you have to go into the settings and change the blending mode to uh, to to support alpha now you can see our leaves you have to do the same for branches uh, the branches don't need to be unwrapped uh, since they are curved objects so you can give them any material you want it's going to give them a brownish material like that now you can make the branches even larger let me first regenerate this so in select the mesh you want i'm just going to reduce the height of my iv now you can see that uh, the branches are a bit too thin but uh, you can update them you can increase their size by increasing uh, the branch size here in update okay now they are too thick so 0 0.001 update i think 0 0.005 should be good uh, same for the leaves i have all the settings here i have quite a few settings here but uh, uh, those are the most important ones so to create this shape here, uh, this here, uh, I just had this uh, sphere, which is basically a mesh. And uh, I had my source just under it, and I selected it to be uh, the where the ivy grows towards, and I just see it generated, and you can see it's very, very simple. Now all you left with is that to add materials and uh, everything else and in is this is this is the exact same same thing here so what i did i just deleted this sphere uh, to retain uh, the shape of the iv like that and i think everything came out quite nicely here just preview the animation for you so yeah i'm just going to go into the time lapse so that you can watch the entire process of setting up everything here including the settings i used are to generate uh, these curved ones and uh, yeah lighting uh, the water and uh, everything else thank you for watching